are scared to win, are scared to succeed. You're thinking Martin has really, really <laughs> lost it this time. But hear me out. Observe other people, if you will, and ask yourself the question, are they happy with what they're doing? And I think we can all <laughs> safely say that most people aren't happy living paycheck to paycheck. They're not happy with the work that they're doing. They're not particularly proud of it. They don't get particularly excited about it. A lot of people are acting out of necessity. You know, when you hear a phrase like necess necessity is the mother of all invention. Well, yes, that is a very innovative space to occupy. But it also means that when there are what we call obligations of paying bills and taxes, all these different things, we have to earn money in order to to pay for those things, to fulfil those obligations that I think a lot of people are now seeing as as traps and falsehoods um, and, and actually unjust and illegitimate means that certain groups of people hold, I mean, at least psychological sway over what people do. But we live in a world now where whatever you say about technology, that we actually have absolutely unprecedented access to being able to live the lives of our dreams beyond what we can even currently imagine. And that can actually be an overwhelming thing. And it can be a means by which you think, oh, I can't possibly do that. The enormity of it is too much for my brain to deal with. But a theme that I am actually focusing on right now is is this idea of sorting yourself out first and, and realising that if you can harness the power of your mind and that you can actually bring yourself back down to earth emotionally, it's what I'm really enjoying actually with working with this new therapist, is this idea of approaching everything in a much calmer, more peaceful way. And also, I think this is really important, thinking more long term, thinking not necessarily of a year or two, maybe thinking of a year, you know, five years or 10 years time, maybe two decades time, not being in such a panic, not being so desperate, of actually living by your principles and developing a character that will actually welcome abundance, will welcome success, will welcome winning. Now, there are many different people who have said various versions of this, here's mine, that we are so full of imagination, capability and potential that our heads sometimes cannot actually grasp it, can't imagine that all of the struggles that we're going through now and the hardships that we may be facing, that we can actually overcome those and we can live lives of incredible freedom. And a lot of people in my time have called me wildly naive and childish and unrealistic for believing these things. But for as long as I can remember, and probably going back even before that, I've always had this optimistic mindset, absolutely. But also that very little of what we see is as it seems and that we can actually harness our own unique potentials in order to do really, really fantastic things. We have the technology to do it, but it has to start with you. It has to start, it starts up here. Obviously, we can, the bodies that we have, the circuitry, the technology that our bodies are, we can use those. And I think we are educated out of trusting our intuition, trusting our instincts, but also trusting in our own capabilities. And what I, over the next few years, at least, you know, yeah, for the rest of my life, 
it's my mission to actually harness all of those and it's what I want to convey in this video because what you believe is such a fraction of the great things that you can do. And I pray twice a day when I'm walking around, I, I ground myself and <sighs> I take some deep breaths and think, Martin, there are loads of great things that you've already done. And if you can do those, well, guess what? All of the things that feel massive at the moment, you can do those as well.